Oh, hey! What's going on? I'm bathtub guy. Oh, shit! Oh, I I'm so sorry! Hey, partner, I, I don't think this is George. Uh, the telepod might have misfired. Oh, yes, I'm George, but when I'm in the bathroom, people call me bathtub guy. You guys here to play a little midnight shuffle? I mean, listen, we do have big stuff to do, but uh, I, well, I, maybe? What's midnight shuffle? You know midnight shuffle. It's when two consensual adults... Don't disrespect me by touching my duck. What the hell is wrong with you? Okay, 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 right. So, what I was saying was... Hey, what the hell are you doing? Stop messing with my goddamn duck. Shit, look, I'm sorry, man. Now, as I was saying, look, I gotta be at a birthday party in about an hour, but if we hurry, I'm sure we can get it done. All right, look, hey, listen, we're not here for some midnight shuffle, okay? Our boss sent us here to pick up some crystal babies. Oh, shit. Well, why didn't you say so? I know, boss, that SOB owes me 13 space dollars and 15 space hairs. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? That's my duck. Put my goddamn duck down. Don't touch the duck. Partner, would you just listen to him? Okay, cool. So, in 15 space hairs. <laughs> he came over one time for a little cream dream action. That's when two dudes turn up the AC really high, then sit in the bathtub full of cream corn and scream their ever-loving ass off. Ooh, way is fun. <laughs> anyway, messing with my duck again. Motherfuckers keep fucking with my duck. So anyways, and just as he's about to leave, I go, hey man, that'll be 13 space dinero. And he's like, 13 what? Then, all of a sudden, Boss takes off running. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but Boss is as agile as a greased baby going down a water slide. So, the only way I'm gonna catch him is if I pull out my hookah kooky and give him a whirl of pearly. So that's what I do. I mean, that in real estate, of course. I've been selling a lot of real estate in Manhattan lately, so that's been working out, but property values are going up the roof. <laughs> so it's hard to find clients who actually want to invest into a property. But I always try to tell them, invest early, because if you don't, you'll be caught in a snowstorm later wishing you had. You don't want to be stuck in an apartment paying $4,000 worth of rent when you could have bought a place on 34th Street for less than that, do you? Ten years down the line, you won't even think about it. But my mother always says, bathtub guy, shut up about real estate. Hey, put, now you better not do that again. As I was saying, but thank you, finally. Okay, like I was saying, but my mother always says, bathtub guy, shut up about real estate. <laughs> but I just keep on talking about it because it's a great investment if you want to make something out of your life. Another great investment, ice cream on Sundays. Trust me, ice cream on Sundays will make you feel closer to God. Trust that because ice cream is sweet. And you know what else is sweet? Church. Church is very sweet. I'm a Christian man, but I don't necessarily believe in Christianity. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> you know, my mother certainly says it is, but I don't let that stop me from getting out and preaching half of the word. Now I'll grab a Bible, tear out half of it, and then live by that part of the Bible. Old Testament, New Testament, no clue. I just point to a page and I go. A lot of times that ends up being revelations. So I tell people, hey, if it's the end of the world, might as well get into real estate. <laughs> hey, listen, hey, sorry, Pat, bathtub guy, George, whatever. The world is at stake. Can you just hand over the crystal babies, please? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was being such a nuisance to my two uninvited guests. Look, I'm sorry. We're not trying to be an asshole. Oh, you don't need to try. It just comes natural to you. Okay, I'm sorry. Stuff your sorries in a sack. Well, I don't got them. They're on loan to Tech World. Oh, hey, shit. I know where Tech World is. Fucking Tech World, man. Great. Now, let's see if you know where the door is. That means leave, asshole. You two turd birds come barging into my place uninvited, telling me to be quiet when I'm just trying to sit here naked and watch my shows. So go on, get the hell out of here. Let me watch my shows, and if you don't leave after my shows are done, I might just make you take 22 pictures of me. Spread eagle, blowing bubbles with my farsies. You ever eat binky beans? What is this guy's problem? Hey, partner, listen, I know where Tech World is, so let's get the hell out of here. Hey, Billy. 
Hey, either put that back, or you get the hell out of here, or you get in this tub and mush our things together. You coming to my private place, my sanctuary, my home, my bathtub, man zone, and you start to mess everything up? How would you like it if I went to your telepod and made a butt brownie batter all over your boobies, huh? Started throwing your shit all over the place. You know what? I'm done talking. I'm just gonna soak in silence until you put my TV back. Billy? You seem a little nervous. Holy shit! Partner, you just killed this guy! George, or whatever, bathtub guy, whatever his name is! How many innocent lives is this now? Four? Five? Are we even the good guys anymore? I mean, Jesus Christ! As soon as we see an opportunity to kill someone, we do it! Pretty soon, people are gonna just need saving from us! God damn! But you know what? Who cares? Whatever. Let's just let's keep moving this this horse along. Wow, partner, would you take a look at this cool tech world, this gear world? Man, this is gonna be a fun one to explore. I can't wait. It looks like they're trapped in some force fields inside of a weird mech machine. Let's go get them. Oh crap, these guys again? Stupid, fuck you! You're both fucked this time. We're not fucking around. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna fucking murder you. You're a fucking piece of shit. Oh, yeah, I am telling him. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, Why are you being so quiet? Fuck you. I'm not being quiet. Suck my dick. Oh, fuck you. We are loyal to our DNA father. Man, those Glorcon clones, bunch of idiots. I, I, no idea how they keep popping up wherever we are. No time to soak in the landscape. We gotta get these, these crystal creatures and then figure out a way how to get them into Glorcon's eyes. Whoa, whoa, these gears. Whoa, we're on the gears. Whoa, these gears. We're on gears now. Oh, great, here we go. I thought they were gonna fucking get them. coming after you. God, I almost feel kind of bad for these guys. All right, look what I see. A couple of the, a couple of them power babies. This shit's too easy. We're walking through this like a homeless person walks through the rain. As easy as pie. Uh, so let's just figure out how to get these power babies out of this mechanized machine, and then we'll get the fuck out of here, and we'll go on vacation. Holy shit! Partner, we gotta grab the crystal babies. They're down over by the telepod. We gotta get them and let's get the hell out of here. Partner, we gotta grab the crystal babies. They're down over by the telepod. We gotta get them and let's get the hell out of here. Fuck you! Quit jumping me off the cliffs! Jesus, maybe you should jump off a cliff. Like in real life. Just kidding, I loved you. Ha ha ha! Surprised? It's me. That's right. I, you played right into my hands. You're a couple of fucking idiots. The bomb I planted in your telepod was never intended to kill you or the abstainers. I wanted you to merge the abstainers. You wanna know why? Because of this. With this device, I'm gonna be able to merge a bunch of worlds using, that's right, the power of the abstainers. Now, with the crystal babies plugged into my device, they're connected to the other three abstainers. Here we go. Oh, 
<laughs> it worked! And this is just the start. A small machine and just a handful of worlds. My next machine is gonna include the power of your dogs. And it's gonna merge 87 worlds down to five massive ones, all in one fell swoop. Unfortunately, it's gonna kill the other three abstainers as well as your dogs in the process. What a shame. Oh, what a shame. Too bad you're trapped here with no way out, no food, no water, no telepod. All according to plan. And now that everything's all jumbled up, no one's gonna be able to help find you. Good luck, you shit fucks. Suck my little balls. Oh, God! Oh, jeez, partner. Now we're trapped with no place to go. We're basically like Tom Hanks and Castaway. You know, we're gonna have to live the rest of our lives here. I mean, this is it. Glorcon won. This is horrible. I mean, you know, we gotta focus on survival now. We, got, we, we gotta just let everything... Forget about the dogs. Forget about, you know, trying to stop Glorcon. It's Tom Hanks style now from Castaway. Ever see that movie? I mean, you should check it out real quick. And then come back. So we, we're gonna have to deal with this. I mean, this, we're, we gotta start figuring out where we're gonna get food. We, we should start trying to build shelter. Hello? Excuse me, we need some help here. Hey, hey, uh, what's, what's going on? Boss sent me out here and said there was some commotion going on. So I uh, came in my Z telepod. Have you heard of one of those? Of course you haven't. It's my fucking telepod. It's the newest telepod. I just cleaned it, outside, inside. I fucking love that telepod. Uh, it's just over there. The commotion you're talking about is just right around the corner. All right, cool. I'm gonna solve this mystery. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. I'm Pink Trover. There's gonna be a whole spinoff of me on this game. I got a story, too. I'm pink, I'm awesome, and I'm gonna figure this shit out. Nobody's gonna fuck with me. I'm Pink Trover. That pink fucking version of me, there's a lot of us, has a fucking telepod. You heard him? It's right around the corner. Let's go! Hurry! It's our only way out of here! I don't want to be fucking trapped here for the rest of my life! Oh my god, that poor pink trover! What an idiot! What a dummy! Holy shit! But also, wow, this is a really nice fancy telepod. I mean, it's better than that garbage we've been using this whole time. I mean, it's got different- it's different colors. I think this is a T-8000 model, wow! It's got all kinds of doodads in here. I mean, it looks pretty much the same, but, I mean, there's all kinds of doodads in it. Partner, boss is Pink calling Trover, what, what did you find out? Oh, it's you two. I must have misdialed. Trover, Cherorpion, things are looking very grim. Several wor worlds have been merged. Your dogs and the abstainers are going to be killed. I can't get a hold of the abstainers. Glorcon's blocked access to their inner sanctum. Telepod is blocked from going there too. Come to my office. Hurry. I I'll brief you there on what the next steps are, but this shit is all totally changed. Shit's all fucked up. It's unpredictable. Everything just took a giant left turn. I'll see you at my office. We fucking played right into Glorcon's hands. We're, 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 we're fucking idiots. He's a, he, we thought he was so stupid, he's a fucking genius, he played us like a fiddle! And now he's got control of the abstainers, and, and he's, and he's, um, and he's got the crystal babies! We need those fucking crystal babies, you know? And, and he's got your dog still? We haven't really done anything, we haven't done much of anything, I mean, this might as well be the beginning of the video game. I mean, we might as well have started the video game, like, right here, narratively, because that's basically where we're at. We're basically at the fucking be beginning, aside from all the fucking, you know, narrative story arc between you and me and like, you know, our friendship and all that stuff. I mean, we may as well, this may as well be the boot up screen for the game right now. Because we're fucking back to square zero. This is fucked. Jesus Christ, what the fuck are we gonna do? Shit, I didn't see this coming. D did you see this coming? Yes or no? Come on. Nod your little yeah, fuck. Yeah, me neither. We're fucking fucked. This is ridiculous. This fucking guy. Okay, we all, we underestimated him. We gotta, we gotta move. We gotta move. Trover, Cherorpion, what took you so long to get back here? What were you, playing with your ding-dong? Yes or no? Uh, you were playing with your ding-dong. That's good. It's healthy, it's natural, it's hot, it's sexy, and it's gonna help prepare you with what I have to tell you right now. 
a bunch of worlds are all destroyed. You know, th th this device is being powered by the abstainers through the crystal babies. All right, y boss, w w what do the abstainers say? I mean, w w what do the abstainers want us to do? We've lost all contact with the abstainers, Trover. The last thing they said to me was the Glorcon was planning to blow up a bunch of planets in the Tarvo galaxy, which is admittedly very, very far away and fairly inconsequential to us, but still, it's it's just a bunch of crazy bullshit. Wait a minute, so all, all he was gonna do was just merge a handful of worlds together? That's a big deal, Trover. This motherfucker merged a bunch of worlds together, and uh, quite frankly, we don't know if he's gonna do it again. I think he probably will. Well, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are we gonna do? This guy's this guy played us! That's right, Trover, he played you. I, I've been busy playing cards. Now shut the fuck up. L listen to me, I have a plan. We still have the coordinates to Glorcon's home planet. That's where he's keeping his world merging device. That's where his secret base is, and that's where the crystal babies are. The only problem is the planet is being shielded by a giant, impenetrable force field. All we have to do is shut down the force field. It's easy. Well, how do we do that? What, what the fuck? What, what are we supposed to do? Trover, we gotta blow up Mixed World. Mixed World is powering Gorkon's force field around his secret base planet. You, wanna, you want us to blow up a planet? A bunch of planets that are merged together? Are you fucking serious? You, you hear Trover, yourself? I don't want to hear any more of this out of you. Cherubian, do you think you're up for this? Oh, yeah, confident, huh? Real confident. You better be. And quit trying to play with your little ding-dong. This is serious. We gotta save the... this localized area of the cosmos. And you're sitting there trying to play with your little ding-dong in here. Anyway, Glorcon just destroyed a handful of worlds, merging them together, and he created one giant mixed world. That's a problem. He's also gonna kill your dogs, Cherorpian, and the abstainers are gonna die too. I mean... Is that enough stakes for us? I mean, you got all that, Trover? You following along here? Yeah, yes, yes, okay, we got it. Okay, on this mixed world, there's a bomb planting site. You're gonna need to plant a bomb in that receptacle. Where the fuck are we, where's this bomb you're talking about? Where, where, where? I'm getting to that, Trover, goddammit, if you let me fucking finish my conversation. In order to get the bomb, you're gonna need to go talk to my good friend, one of the funniest guys I know, comedy guy. He's my best friend, one of my best friends, and he also happens to be a bomb expert. And, and he'll tell some hilarious jokes, He'll lift your spirits. His name is Comedy Guy. He has the bomb. So just whenever you're ready, go ahead and press the button on the telepod and it'll take you to Comedy Guy. And then from there, you'll go to Mixed World. Jesus Christ, what a hot mess. Partner, come on, hit the button. Let's go to Comedy Guy and get this bomb. Maybe we'll hear some jokes. I don't know. <sighs> Man, you know... You know, whenever the chips are down, Comedy Guy's there to get, to give you a little laugh and a chuckle you know he, he always brings a smile to the table uh-huh he's you know and he's got a good lovable you know rated g type sense of humor uh e for everyone tone with his comedy he's very but it'll still make the edgiest person laugh because his comedy is so sharp and honed and he's just, he's such a light, delightful, lovable, happy-go-lucky character. He's always funny and laughing and just having uh -huh. a great time. And, and it's so, it's, and he also happens to know a lot about bombs and, you know, like how to make really ex horrible explosive bombs that could devastate uh -huh. and destroy. He, it's a weird coincidence, but it's great. Thank God it's him and not someone else because you need a laugh. Yeah. Things are dark. Things are, we're in our darkest days right now. Uh -huh. This is the darkest part. And we need a good chuckle and a smile. So Comedy Guy's my good friend, and he's good and he's great. It's going to make you chuckle, and you're going to get a good laugh out of it. Uh-huh. And boy, oh boy, I wish I could be there. I wish I could go with you. I, I need a laugh too, but I got to stay back here and man the station. Uh, get ready for when you're, when you when you when you're place when you're done placing all the bombs. I got to get ready for, for to tell you what to do next, because it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. All right, I'm going to shut the door now, Chair Orpian. Make sure your little ding dong is out of the way. Believe me, you don't want your ding dong getting slammed in between these telepod doors as it closes. It hurts really bad, and you guys would end up in the space hospital getting your ding dongs worked on. I can say that from experience. Good luck out there, you two. You're my favorites. Man, this is a bunch of bullshit. I can't believe Glorcon played us like he did. And, and all this shit would have happened whether I had been with you or not. I, I, I could have been doing my own thing this whole time, you know? I mean, I stuck around with you for what? And, and now we gotta blow up a planet? I mean, Jesus Christ. That sounds like what bad guys do, blowing up planets.
Uh, all right, look, let's just check out Comedy Guy's routine, get the bomb, and then go blow up this entire planet. Come on, partner, let's go. I want to meet Comedy Guy. I want to get, I want to get my laugh on. I want to collect these bombs and chuckle. Get some chuckles out. I need to get a chuckle out of my system. You've seen his lighthearted comedy on Flame Shack. No, you know him from his silly family-friendly prop comedy masterpiece, Floppy Props. And he's been a regular on David Letterman for years. Let's give a warm round of applause to Comedy Guy! Oh my God! He hung himself! You know, he, he always joked about it, but I just thought he was doing a bit. Jeez, do you know how fucking hard this has been for me and, and now I have to deal with this? What, what, what am I, the, the guy from 127 Hours? Did you see that movie? The guy got the shaft, big rock fell on his arm. This is 127 hours, plus an extra hour. 128 hours of me getting screwed. We were supposed to get a bomb. We were supposed to pick up a bomb from this guy. Where is the bomb? Oh my god, you know, th this isn't my fight. I, di I didn't start this shit. Holy shit, it's the bomb. There it is. There's the freaking bomb. L let's get it and get the hell out of here. The bomb's right there. Just pick it up. Just grab it. This isn't my war. Fuck this! I just wanted to get high off of some power babies, and 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 now this. I'm like Swandy over here. The you, you know the 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 guy that was arrested for a little too much pep in his step. The guy did jack shit. He just skipped across the street. This is bullshit. His name was Swanzy. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Fuck. Son of a bitch! Fuck this, man! I just want to get out of this place! I don't feel happy anymore! I don't feel good right now! I want to get out of here! Fuck! Fuck, man! This is bullshit! I want to get out of here! Fuck this! Shit!